Hello everyone. Hello everyone. My name is Akirele Oluwa Shugo. I'm your Microsoft Excel trainer. Today I'll be teaching you how to use Excel calculator for to calculate exchange rate from one currency to another in Excel. Microsoft Excel has its own inbuilt calculator, but the calculator is made hidden in Excel. So you must learn how to bring the calculator out before you can start using it. So I'm going to teach you how to do that this morning in this video. All you need to do now is to go to any of the tab ribbons and right click on any of the tab ribbons. Right click on any of the tab ribbons and click on customize the ribbons. When you right click, you click on customize the ribbons and it will take you to this ribbon tab. So you see this is our ribbon dialog box where you have all the main tab in Excel and these are the command in Excel. So what you need to do is to come here and click on a new tab on a new tab. Once you click on a new tab, you will see new tab custom and new group custom. So we are going to customize a tab with our name and it will bring that calculator under the tab. So when you have a new tab custom, click on it and click on rename to give it a name. So when you click on the rename, so you can give, you can call it your name. I'm calling this one Akerele. So I'm renaming it Akerele. So you click on OK. You can see I have a tab bearing my name Akerele. Under the tab, we have new group. So click on the new group. So you can also rename the new group and call it special command. You can call it special command. Special command. So you click on OK. So click on the special command. So move to the left hand side to go and add the command under the tab room that you have just customized with your name. So these are the popular commands in Excel. These are the popular commands in Excel that you can find under your tab ribbons. But the one we are going to use is being hidden in Excel. So all you need to do is to click on the drop down arrow beside the popular command. And you click, and you click on command not in the ribbons. Command not in the ribbons. So you click on it. When you click on the command not in the ribbons, it will bring out all the command that's been hidden in Excel. So scroll down and look for calculator. So when you click on it, you see I find the calculator here. So click on the calculator, your add button will be activated. So you click on add and it will come under your the customized ribbon tab that you have created and it will be under your command, which is called special command, the one that you have renamed. So you click on OK. When you click on OK, so you will see a tab ribbon bearing your name. You can see it's already displaying accurately. So I can click on the tab ribbon now and I will see my calculator is called custom under my special command. So I click on the calculator so to bring out the calculator for me when you click on it. So to bring out the calculator, so this is the Excel calculator, you can see it is displaying. So it is, so the version varies. So we have different version of calculator based on the version of Excel that you are using in the office. So this the calculator is already displaying. So you click on this button here. So you can use the calculator to do a lot of things in Excel. You can see this is the calculator. We have different type of calculator that you can use. We have the standard. If I click on it, this is standard calculator. You can see this is standard calculator. So if I click on this button here, I can pick scientific calculator. I will see different type of calculators for scientific calculator. If I want a programmer calculator, I will pick programmer calculator it will be showing you can see this programmer calculator so i have different calculator that i can use inside the excel calculator so if you want to calculate dates we also have something we call date calculation under the calculator so when you click on the date calculations it can help you to calculate different between two dates for example now today is 20 of july if i want to know days between now and December 31st I can do that under my calculator so this is from July 20 so I'll go to my calendar click on the button and I use my scroll bar to scroll to December so I'll scroll to December 31st 
So I click on it, it will calculate how many days. You can see we have 164 days left this year, which is five months, one week, four days. So the calculator can help you to calculate the frame, the difference between two days. And also the beauty of it is that you can use the calculator to do exchange rates, to calculate the exchange rates, the concurrency com we call the currency converter. When you click on the currency converter, so you can convert from one currency to another. So you can see if United Kingdom, which is the pounds. So it followed the it followed the CBN exchange rate. Exchange rate. So as of, as of you can see, it's been updated since yesterday, 19th of July. So the exchange rate of one pass to Naira is 452 Naira. That's one cover. You can see the exchange rate. So you can also update once you are connected to the internet, it will show online. So you can update the exchange rate. So that I will give you the new exchange rate. You can update the exchange rate. For example, now someone give you 500 pounds. Let's see what 500 pounds will be in Naira. You can see it's 226,159. You can see. So let's go and look at dollars. You can also pick another currency, United States dollars. When you click on it, you can see 500 dollars in Naira is 180,000 Naira. So you can convert from one currency to another. So let me go and check Ghana cities and see. 500 Ghana CDs in Naira, so you can scroll and look for Ghana CDs. Can you just scroll back to scroll? So you just scroll back to scroll to where you see Ghana. You can see the estimate of one Ghana CD is 3 Naira. You can see now. So if someone gave you 500 Ghana CD, is 31,578 Naira. So you can see. So that's the beauty of using Excel calculator. It can help you to calculate a lot of things. Apart from the currency converter, we also have can do for units, volume, length, weight, mass, temperature, and energy. We can also do calculate pressure. You can see it's all here. And so it can also help your work. It can make your work easier using the Excel calculator. So thank you for watching my video. My name is Akerele. Oluwa Shogun.